Hello traders, Gary Wagner here. Approximately 125 in Honolulu, 625 in New York. On Wednesday, 21st day of February 2024, and this is uh, the evening report for gold and silver. While there was some volatility after the release of the FOMC minutes from last month, it was much more contracted of a range than we typically see. Gold did close lower by $5.50 in trading, taking the close to $2,034.30. We are trading overseas right now, and it is currently trading at approximately $2,035. On yesterday's show, I talked about the high likelihood that this former support line that was drawn from a series of higher lows should become the new resistance area. Once again, as you can see with today's candle, it was tested and gold did not sustain a close or even a move above that point which lends me to think that the probability of a soft price decline very much possible. On yesterday's show, we identified a simple two-day pattern in silver called an engulfing bearish. We did receive confirmation today, although not exceedingly strong. Silver traded to a lower low, a lower high, and a lower close, indicating the potential for further price decline. In terms of what happened was silver lost about 26 cents or 1.13% in trading today. Dollar weakness did provide very, very small but defined tailwinds as the dollar lost some ground 0.07% taking the index to 104.009. If you recall from yesterday's show, I talked about the fact that the compression triangle did reach an apex. It did break, although to the opposite direction than I thought it would, but that was due to a fundamental event. That was a hotter than expected reading in the CPI report. However, this former support trend line should become our new resistance trend line because in yesterday's large move, the high almost exactly matched the former support line is current resistance in trading today for the better part of the day gold was under much more pressure than the close even though it closed down five dollars and fifty cents but i draw your attention to the high of the day and the fact that now for the second day in a row this particular price point meaning our current trend line that represents resistance was challenged but just as we saw yesterday it was not sustainable closing well below the high of the day currently trading overseas and it's up about a dollar to a dollar fifty from new york's close but i believe the potential for further price decline is still highly possible which is why we will remain flat with no active trades in gold. In terms of areas to watch, the lower level blue line that you see is the simple 100 day moving average corresponds to $2,025. So that says that that could be a key number. Of course, below that is $2,019 and 2014, the 50 and 61.8% Fib retracement. On the upside, a break above this resistance line would be significant. A break above the 50-day moving average would be exceptionally and exceedingly strong, indicating that we're moving back into a bullish market. Traders, if you recall from yesterday, we did get a two-day pattern, the engulfing bearish. We did get confirmation today, a lower low lower high and lower close although i would prefer to see follow through selling be a little bit deeper if selling pressure continues i really believe that it could trade as low as 22 dollars and 40 cents but there is potential for support at about 22 dollars and 75 cents Currently, we're at $22.92, basis the most active March, which of course 
will be ending and switch over to the next most active month shortly. This has been Gary Wagner wishing you as always good trading. We will talk to you tomorrow for the next daily update and review. Bye-bye.